to SIG Storage. Today we will be showing you an overview of our self-storage management software. SIG Storage is completely web-based, which means that you can log into your system at any time with an internet connection, mobile friendly, tablet friendly, and laptop friendly. As you see here, this is our main dashboard when you get logged into SIG Storage. SIG Storage also allows multiple users, so an owner, an employee, a manager can all have their own separate login and passwords. You can see here the dashboard is going over live data of what is happening with this facility. Right now this dashboard is set up on two locations uh, demonstrating Kansas City and St. Louis. If you do have more than one location you can turn one off and you will see that it updates to the selected location. Your dashboard again goes over live data. You can see the number of credit cards you're processing, how much revenue for last month, current month, and next month, and the total overdue revenue over the last seven days, 30 days, or even greater than 30 days. As I scroll down, it will continue to show you the data of your move-ins, move-outs, scheduled move-outs. You can change the gears to look at it over the last seven days or even the current month. Scrolling down further, it's going to go over more reportings for you, like how your leads are coming in and the occupancy of your facility. You do have the option to view in chart or table form. Going over more reporting with your overdue and revenue listed out in table or chart form. Scrolling up back to the main dashboard, you do have your search tool here, which will allow you to quickly search for any customers or units to pull up the profile pages. To perform, to perform a move-in, you can simply click on the move-in button and do an in-person move-in, or at the end of the move-in, you can email your e-signature your e lease agreement to that customer so that they can complete on their side. We also have a fully functioning site map that is color coordinated that we will take a look at in a moment as well. Over here on the left hand side, you do have your menu bar, which will go over your leads, your tenants, operations to edit your units, how they're set up, all of your financial reports, customer reports, tenant reports, management reports, any reports you can download to an Excel or PDF file. Mr. Delivery will allow you to send out any templates via mass email or text messages to your customers. Automation sets up your settings within the system to automatically send your invoices, lock out access controls based on gate settings, and send automatic notices to your tenants via past due days. We do have a built-in storage calculator that can be included as well to help you calculate the appropriate unit size for your customer based on what they're needing to store. And then your settings to overall set up the software to get very customized about how you run your business. Every business is different, so not every single facility will be managing their company the same way. So let's go ahead and take a look at a move-in. Simply click the move-in button and we can select any of our existing tenants or move in a brand new tenant or simply search for a tenant with the search bar. We will move in a new customer today. So as you can see, I filled in the required fields. Not every field here is required. You do have the availability to set this up in the settings. All required fields will have a red asterisk next to it, and you will have to complete that field before moving on to the next stage. Over here to the right is where you can upload a picture of that tenant, as in uploading a photo of the driver's license. This can be optional, it can also be mandatory. Also adding an alternate slash emergency contact person.
all of this information will get generated on your lease agreement and it will be sent as a copy to that customer once the move-in is completed. Next, we're going to select our storage details. This is putting that customer in the appropriate storage unit or rental space. Here we have the storage type, drive up or parking, the location, because my system is set up with two locations, the building, and now you can see that my available units or parking spaces have accumulated. As I scroll down, I will see that the monthly rent for this unit is $100, but since we are set up on first of the month billing, it is prorating today's charges. So that means on April 1st now, according to the time, it will charge the full amount on April 1st. Here's where we enter the customer's gate access code. This is if you are integrated with a gate company and provide access codes to each individual tenant. Next is our add-ons. This is where we can add an insurance coverage, any certain types of fees or services, merchandise, or vehicle details for that customer. Now we're to the e-signature and payment screen. This is now where you will capture the customer's signature. If you are in person, it is very simple to do on a tablet or cell phone. Or you can simply click signature on email and once the payment is taken that customer will receive an email notification to sign the lease agreement. Here we can preview our documents. This is the customer's first month's invoice that they are paying today. And the move-in documents which consist of the lease agreement. You can see here that the customer's information is uploaded into this agreement along with their access code and unit number and the details that they have filled out. Simply select your payment type. Today we'll process this as a demonstration with cash. Save and proceed. Now move-in has been successful for storage customer into unit 121. Here is a copy of the invoice and the receipt. Here is also a copy of the move-in lease agreement. By clicking this button right here, the move-in welcome email will get sent to that customer and it will include a copy of these documents. Now we can go preview their tenant profile page. Every tenant gets their own tenant profile page, so now everything pertaining to this customer is listed here. Now let's take a look at what it looks like on the sitemap side. So we know this customer is renting at Kansas City in Unit 121. Here is our color-coordinated sitemap. This is completely editable, so you can change these colors according to how you would like to see them laid out. As you can see, my blue units are rented. If any of them were vacant, they would be green. And I do have three scheduled move-outs. Those are orange. The overdue tenants are the ones in red. I can scroll over these and see the customer's name of who rents these units, and I know I just rented unit 121. I can click on that unit and it will break out more details about the customer storing in this unit. Now let's say the customer is ready to move out. We can simply you do this straight from the sitemap or search for that customer. This is where we can perform the move out option. Also, during the time of rental, if this customer needs to make a manual payment or set them up on auto pay, this is where you would do that with the auto bill preference with their cards on file and setting them up under their lease preferences.
in this scenario, this customer is receiving their invoice 10 days before their next billing date. So that is why you'll see that the next invoice is getting generated on March 22nd. If a credit card was on file and set up for auto pay, the recurring payment would be turned on and the next payment would be taken out on April 1st. Let's perform a move out. Here we can scroll down and see that there is no balance due for this customer. We are able to move them out of the unit. Reason for leaving, done renting. We have successfully completed the move out and here is the move out receipt. We can easily send this to the customer and now they know they are done using our services at that location. Six Storage will keep a copy of all of your previous tenants as well. So if I need to pull up this account, I can see that it has been moved out. So this is no longer an active customer. But if that customer decides to come back in the future, we can easily move them back into the same unit or a, another vacant unit. So now let's take a look at our automation features of how that gets set up. Your auto scheduler is the time of day that these items are happening. So our invoices, they're getting sent out at 8 o'clock in the morning to our customers. Gate lockout goes hand in hand with delinquency to set up your gate lockout features. So any customers past due by a certain amount of day can be locked out of your gate system. Once a payment goes through, they can be allowed access immediately. Late fee sch schedule is another automatic feature where X amount of dollars can be added onto a tenant's account after X amount of days past due. And reminder emails will go hand in hand with remind your tenants where you get to set up a timeline of when your certain templates get sent out to your customers when they hit certain days past due. For example, a first default notice to anyone three days past due a late fee notice seven days past due, and a second default notice 20 days past due. All these notices are getting sent via email and text message, and a copy does get sent to the admin's email on file. Lastly, your settings is where you go through and set up how you want your system to be running. Your company profile is gonna be your company's information along with your facility's details any storage categories that you offer at your facility, whether you're only drive up or parking, or you can also include climate controlled and boat and RV storage. You are not limited to the amount of categories to include in your software. Users is where you can add as many different users into the software as needed. So if you have a manager, an accountant, a business owner, each person can have their own username and login. Your financial settings is where you can set up your late fee settings, your discounts, and your tax settings. Data upload is used to upload your unit and tenant information as well as your lease info. Move-in settings goes through the different fields that you're wanting your customers to fill out while uh, renting a storage unit. Also how your invoices and payments are set up. Add-ons is where you can include any insurance coverages that you offer to your customers edit any fees or services that you may add on to your storage units or your customers, any merchandise sales if you're going to be selling any type of moving supplies like locks and boxes, and any amenities to show on the website if you use our six storage website services. These amenities will highlight the features of those specific units or your facility in general. Your documents is where a copy of your lease agreement will be saved or any e-sign signatures documents so that you can edit them at any time. Preferences is how you want to be notified of what's going on with your facility. And the integration tab goes over all the different companies that integrate with Six Storage. We hope this video was extremely helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact us at sixstorage.com at any time.